I am Araya Adedapwan. This is the guest segment of the Early Rise of the Early Rise this morning. We are going to be talking about this morning the cost of nomination forms and its implications, putting a spotlight on the presidential nomination forms of each party, especially the two uh, major leading parties, which is the PDP and the APC. This morning, with us in the studio to discuss um, on all these things, how they are supposed to be, what are we supposed to be looking at about it is a member of the PDP, Honorable Rotimi Johnson. Thank you so much for coming this morning. It's my pleasure. I'm pleased to have you here this morning. It's my pleasure to be back with yes. you. you, you we have these nomination forms. People have been picking nomination forms. Your party, PDP, we have about four, uh, four, about three people, major people now that have picked up the nomination form. The APC as well. Everybody announced their prices for the nomination forms. And we have the APC zone to be 45 million, to be 55 million era. After a few days, they reversed it and brought it down to 45 million naira. And um, the PDP is said to be at a cost of 12 million naira. Now, this is the first question. If the nomination forms alone are this expensive, what are the chances of people being able to be able to afford that nomination form? Thank you. The chances of people being able to afford for the nomination form, I would say it's very slim because if you take 45 million and you ask that a permanent secretary at the federal on, uh, at the federal prior starter, what's the gratuity of a permanent secretary in the federal prior starter? So you look at it that those that have worked diligently for years men and women of integrity mm. with the cost so many of them will be excluded yes we still have some people that have labored righteously for their earnings and they can still afford it but the larger part of people that want to make a new change and uh, transformation in this our hailing country will not be able to afford such amount so the chances are very slim very slim in a country that has just overtaken india as the number one um, poorest country talking about the number of people living below poverty line and you are having um presidential nomination forms at the rate of 45 million at the rate of 12 million how does this speak of our general economy because if we are if the national uh, if, if, if the international index sees us as so poor and yet our nomination forms just to express interest to become a public service order is this expensive then where where where, where why do you match this together well our democracy is still an emerging one and we have a lot of things that are wrong in the system many things are wrong with our system generally in this country but the cost if you're comparing it with the level of poverty it also has a kind of bandwagon effect on attitude of the electorate towards the election. Because whoever hears a poor man that has not been able to raise 1,000 Naira maybe in 72 hours, in three days, hears that somebody has picked the nomination form of 45 million Naira, he believes that, ah, that guy has money. So he's looking for opportunity to have access to that person to get part of that money. That if just for nomination form you can afford that. Then it means you have much left. So you have a lot. So it also has its own effect on the psyche of, our, of the electorate. That look, if you are coming to ask me for your vote, for votes, then you have too much money to spare. So you should give me part of that money. Exactly. Before so I commit to you know, because you before know. I can vote for you, I don't have because that. for you to give that kind of money, then it must be an investment to you. You okay. are so you are putting that money because you are expecting a return. Exactly. So let me take whatever I can take from you now, because when you get there, I can't guarantee that you do yeah, anything. I'm to take it. I, I'm mo moving on from there. When you mentioned the, the poor man, I also mentioned something about the poor man. When you look at the the kind of poverty that is in the land. And 
the rate, the cost of these nomination firms. What exactly are the party thinking since you are a member of PDP? Is it a way of trying to streamline the number of people that can assess the firms so that you don't have a crowd of people vying for each position? So is, is there something like that going on? No, not really. Because if you look at it critically, I think PDP has done well in the amount fixed for the nomination forms. At 12 million naira is still a lot of money, an average Nigerian will tell you that. Yes, but if you look at party administration, it is very, very expensive to run political party in Nigeria. It's not just the elections that are expensive. If you look critically into what goes into party administration, you know that it's very, very expensive. And it is only through nomination that political parties raise funds to manage and administer the whole process. Uh, but when, when you mentioned that, uh, I'm still going to come later to what exactly are this money is used for, which you've mentioned a little bit that party administration is, 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 is quite expensive. But when you look at this cost, is it just one way they can go about it? Because there's something called crowdfunding. They could as well bring this price down, make it as accessible as for anyone, you know, for many people, that uh, something like uh, for many people, so that they, they, they look at it and say, okay, I can afford this. So everybody wants to express their interest. When there are many people that does that, they will still be able to get even more than the amount they would have gotten with that exorbitant amount of maybe 12 million era or 45 million era. So how do you see that playing out? Is it, can it just be done just one way? Can they do it the other way of bringing it down ridiculously and making sure that so many people can express their interest by that way, getting the same amount or even more than they would have gotten if, if, they, if they put it at a high price? Well, the essence of nomination form is not really as if it's for business. Because if it, is too, if it is too cheap, then you have problem with the number. Just like you said, too many people, you have a lot of pretenders that will collect the form and they will create nuisance, administrative nuisance for the party. So as much as we advocate that it, it should be cheaper than what it is now, then it should not be too cheap to, in reality, you know. If I want to play to the gallery, I can, ah, it should be cheap. No, 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 no. Now, in a typical political office, you have office space you pay for. You have staff you pay for. The secretariat. Yes. You have stationaries you pay for. Litigations. You have... Yes. Then you make regular press releases. You do jingles. I'm talking about the political office now, political party now. You do jingles. And the interesting thing is that most of these things, there is a special package for political parties. The same one minute that a manufacturer will pay maybe like eighteen thousand for a jingle per one for, for a minute a political party will be charged like fifty thousand look at that disparity yeah. and that's the same way for every other expenses so running politics generally in nigeria is so expensive uh, is, is it not because of the way we have structured our politics uh, and by that i say we have structured our politics in such a way that so many people now see politics as a major career. Meanwhile, in many other countries, um, for instance, developed countries, you see people coming from all walks of life, then converting and say, okay, I think at this stage, at this stage, I've gotten to have what it takes to be able to lead the nation, to be able to lead my people, whether at the senatorial level or at the House of Rep level or whatever, uh, whether at the presidential level. So, and they now come into it. So, they didn't start out like politics is my career. So, it has been taken by many people in Nigeria that politics is a full career, and that's just what they do. So, they need a lot of money to be able to maintain that status so how do you how do you respond to that because i think our de the demography of our politics has also played into the fact that the the, the party administration will be expensive well you have mentioned poverty is actually more of poverty of the mind and people taking advantage of the now at the expense of the future, of the future. a lot of people it, because one thing I always want to make clear is that 
politicians are part of Nigerians. Politicians are average Nigerians. So what they think, what they do, demonstrate what an average Nigerian would do. They are from among us. So when you go all out to say you want to be this or that, the average Nigerian is not doing, not looking at you as somebody that wants to serve. They are looking at you as somebody that wants to be my master. So before you become my master, let me task you. Because as soon as you become my master, I have no control over you. But in developed nations, it is the other way around. People make contributions for those they believe in that wants to go and serve. Talking about contributory funding, talking about contributory funding, we, we know that that has happened in a lot of countries, especially developed countries, as you mentioned. But we are going to go on a short break now. When we come back, we will be, in we come back, we will be serving you with tweets and reactions from um, the world, from their Twitter and Dole and so many other of our handles of what people are saying concerning this topic we are discussing of the nomination forms. So we'll give you that. We'll go on a short break now. When we come back, we'll be serving you with the tweets that people are talking about before we go on and talk about other issues on the cost of nomination forms. Please stay tuned. You don't choose a leader because you like him. You choose a leader because he's capable. You don't have to like him. He's capable. That's all. You don't like him, so what does it matter? He's doing the job that he has to do. You don't like him, what does it matter? You choose somebody to a leadership position not because you like him and dislike him. Only for competence. Competence is the only value. But unfortunately, in our country, we are going on like this, that we want our leader the way we want to love him. You don't have to love him. You just have to support him to fulfill what he has to do. That's a leadership position. Who well, he is good, he is bad, this is not your business. This is not your business, then you will do nothing fruitful in your life. You will go about making moral commentary about everybody. Nothing will happen in that kind of situation. A leader, we have chosen one human being to be a leader simply for his competence and nothing else. Other things are not your business. Welcome back. We're still on the guest segment on Early Rise this morning. It's been so interesting. We're talking about the cost of nomination forms and its implications. But for this morning, we are putting a spotlight on the presidential nomination forms. Um, on other programs, we'll still be talking about the whole spectrum on how everything goes with the governorship, House of Reps, Senate um, nomination form. But for this morning, we're focusing on presidential nomination forms. So if you're just joining us, our guest in the house this morning is Honorable Rotimi Johnson, Oja Sope. And we promised you that when we come back, we're going to be serving you tweets. So um, one of one of our people who just tweeted us, it says, Saburi Adeyemi says this, says, Good morning. Kindly emphasize that it is indirect way to disenfranchise people with good ideas. Totally unacceptable and useless way of discouraging fellow citizens. All political parties are guilty of this. Um, I'll just use an S word that is a swear word. We can't use that on, on her. So, but I, I guess he's so angry right now that he just had to voice out his opinion with an S. S word. Thank God he used the F. The F is always worse. <laughs> so, when you look at this, somebody also read on the particular blog, somebody said, when they sent the bill of not too young to run, you know, they should have also sent an accompanying bill with it of not too poor to run bill. So, how do you respond to that with the um, with, the, with this with this tweet saying that there is a way of disenfranchising people that are well many that want to do something good. It is true that a lot of well many Nigerians with sincere desire to serve will be disenfranchised with the kind of amount. But my opinion is that ruling party should have the least cost of nomination because the ruling party 
Uh, are you saying that because you're a member of the PDP? No, 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 not at if all. If an NPC member was here, you would have had no. conflicting opinions. Yes, and I will have proved my point because the truth is the ruling party has other means of raising funds. You can task your elected and appointed officers, which they do most of the time. Uh, and, is, and is that legitimate? But some people also look at that as you a know. of and when you are beginning to tell this person bring this amount of money, that person starts seeing that uh, after all they are going to ask. No, they have the obligation to the party. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. It's no issue. I, I, I can't really talk more about if it's the legitimate, but you know, okay. there is what we call doctrine of necessity or culture in politics. Okay. So you have your own obligation to the party that gave you a platform to serve. Right. So you have that obligation. Right. And with that, the ruling party can, you know, muzzle funds faster and easier than opposition parties. But the truth is, the current cost because if the president in 2015 could not afford had to according to him go and apply for loan to pick the form in 2015 and in 2019 if towards 2019 is even almost twice the amount after the uproar the amount was dropped First to 45, it's 4 to 40, then back to 45. And now some guys are claiming to contribute money for him. You know that it's not so reasonable. It's not consistent with what they were saying as opposition party. It is not fair. So generally, the costs are high for most political parties. That's not debatable. But the truth is, as much as possible, political parties should look for other means of raising funds. funds. Still staying on this, we have the, the, the major person we've seen that has been contesting the presidential um, presidential seat for the presidential ticket for the for the ruling party, which is the APC, has been a certain 35 year old Adam Gaba, who is an ITC, ICT specialist. And right now, you have they have announced that the nomination for first for 55 million, they have brought it down to 45 million. How do you expect? A young man of 35 years old to be able to provide to be able to get 45 million naira to run for that post well like i said if it was 27 million in 2015 and they have put it at 55 million initially in 2000 the dollar the dollar has affected it well <laughs> i think you know the president said that the not too young guys you know start with him Mm -hmm. So, I want to believe that that was a, a deliberate attempt to disenfranchise them. them. That look, you guys go this and is wait. Not, this it's is not, not your time. Small boys, um, it will be an embarrassment for young guys to be contesting against you. So, you go and. Is he afraid but that's of on a lighter mood. But the truth is, the young guys will not be able to run on those platforms. And that's why a lot of guys, a lot of Guy, young guys that are vying for offices in this dispensation, a lot of them are not looking at the major political parties because they knew that the cost of contesting on major political parties will be exorbitant. Will be exorbitant, and even if he wants to, he's a successful young man. He has built a company that is successful, and he has employees. Would a, an entrepreneur that has labored so hard to get to level would it, would, it, would it be comfortable? To remove 45 million naira or to raise 45 million naira from his company, do you, do you think that's something that is feasible with a young person that, that is looking at a very bright future? It's feasible, it depends on his pulse. So, you know that we have a lot of 35, when don't let me say a lot of, we have some 35 year olds that can afford such. But the truth is, when you begin to feel the pinch, when it begins to be a struggle, to go from one stage in your political career to another in the name of service, then the possibility of compromise increases along the line. Because you, it will get to a point, you start doubting yourself if truly you want to serve these people. Because the, the kind of pressure you've been through and the kind of commitment and kind of ways you have had to go to 
length you've had to go to just to make sure that you make this a reality cannot allow you to 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 be that truthful to your words anymore okay let's 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 go to the next week this is dr bimbola duro biton saying they are all thieves so tell them they are all thieves well you have just said it uh, i don't need to tell them for you and i've just delivered your message by mentioning your name dr bimbola duro biton says they are all thieves does this say pdp are thieves apc are thieves and um, because they are in um, taxing people so high for um nomination forms how do, how do you respond to that because he has just properly called it i've i've tried to explain it the cost the administrate the, uh, the party administration is very expensive you know it is because the case of nomination is in the public mm. a lot of expenses that political parties will have to go through they are not made public mm. for instance i was with the my state secretary yesterday you know for some administrative discussion when he received a call that PDP has extended the submission of uh, the sales submission and, and submission of nomination forms. That was just to allow more people, more people to be able to get into to, the, to, Yes, to I, get I, more I, money. I, before I move too far, let me come to PDP. Your party, we've had the people that have picked up the nomination forms, notably uh, um, um, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, you've had the pre current Senate President, which is Bukola Saraki, and uh, also former um, Kano State Governor and um, a, a, a Senator right now, Rabi Kwankwaso, with, um, and just in yesterday, the day before yesterday, Senator Mark also jumped into the running. When you look at the caliber of these people that have picked up the form, you find out that these are people that have been in high positions for a long time. Doesn't that go to justify the fact that somebody that is just starting or an average person cannot afford to, because when you, it's, it's the caliber of people that have been living around a lot of millions. So 12 million naira to this set of people, we know how much they pay senators, we know I know this, let's, we know, let's not go into that for now. So doesn't it just show that people that do, do do not hold those kind of offices cannot be able to afford this this kind of forms well those that they, we have a lot of people in nigeria again i will correct myself not a lot of people we still have some people in nigeria that can afford that fund but do they have vision because the cost of nomination form relatively that may for presidency that will probably be the least cost for running for presidency in Nigeria. Because 12 million, to even fuel your convoy traveling all over the country, you know how much that will cost? Flight, publications, both in the news media and uh, b-balls, posters. So the cost really is not just about this nomination form is a systemic awesome. problem that we have to look into political administration and campaign should not be this expensive should not be this expensive but doesn't that bring us back to the fact that the, the set of people that have been picking up nomination forms and that have been buying for these offices do not have and uh, uh, stand to be corrected do not have the level of integrity because if they do why can't we use the contributory scheme that we mentioned earlier that is being used in developed countries um somebody was saying um on here yesterday that um, barack obama during his every almost a lot of americans contributed personally to his election so if these people have that kind of stature can why can't they go through the contributory scheme rather than think that they, they can do it the other way that is making that is making us believe that they are just teams after, after all Adieu. we can go through the contributory schemes but it also comes to issue of integrity exactly. and the personality involved. For my campaign, for instance, I have friends from all over the world that made contribution towards my campaign. They contributed because they knew what I stand for. And they kept telling me that it is not a do or die affair. We just believe in you go and make a difference. So for most of the decisions I had to take, I revert to them. So when you have contributory schemes like that, it brings sanity into the polity. Then you have more men and women of integrity stepping out 
to contest because there is this impression i have even in my subconsciousness that look i'm not sending myself i'm representing some people that believe that nigeria can still be better, be better. and they want it to be better and i must deliver on that program. i must deliver i must not fumble now we've, we've talked about the youth we've talked about the average nigerian let's talk about the woman when nomination forms are this expensive how do you expect an average woman who, 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 who believes she has what it takes to be able to deliver in some of these public offices to now come and pick up these forms is that not a way of also um, pushing down the ability of women of women involvement in politics uh, and i uh, and the reason why i'm saying this is that the, the presidential aspirants shouldn't be getting to the podium when they are making campaigns and now promising that oh we'll give women this quota we'll give women that quota our political um atmosphere should also should also give way for them to be able to have but if nomination forms are this expensive i doubt if the political atmosphere is going to be able to contain women to be able to contest uh, respond to that the issue of nomination most political parties give discounts to women my political my party for instance for these offices is free for women to pick the free nomination form the nomination, the, forms. the nomination form so but be, like i said beyond nomination form is that that's just the noisy part of the cost of running campaign Honorable, Honorable if i just heard you correctly you said it's free for them to which of the forms are free let's just know the nomination form, nomination form even for presidential for all the offices, all the offices you know why you, 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 you should understand that this is just an inducement yes, to sense. encourage women to come in to okay. participate you can always ask for certain percentage for a point a point of of, of appointments mm -hmm. but we need more women in elective Position. positions so that's an inducement for them to come in because that does not mean other costs of running their ca individual campaigns are going to be discounted no no media house, for instance, will give women special rates for political jingo or b boards You know, you understand. So it's not, but at least for the political parties, want to encourage more women participation in elective offices beyond the usual of appointment, and that's that. That's okay. That's okay. All right, that's okay. Uh, apart in short, and uh, like uh, my producers are telling me, we have to close now. Apart in short, how do you see all this all this playing out? 2019, February 2019 is very close around the corner. Like I said, we put a, a spotlight on presidential. Between now and then, what, what, talking about the people that have picked up the forms, do you think that this form thing is not going to make um, give us, at the end of the day, the set of people that Nigerians have been saying they don't know want to see on the political scene anymore? Well, the kind of people this claim they don't want to see anymore we need yes we need freshers we exactly. need we new, need new people to yes run. we need new people to run but the truth is many of these freshers many of these new people they are shying away from partisan politics and in the history of this country particularly this democratic dispensation we have had more young guys vying for the presidency than before but many of them are not in the major political parties. Major political parties. It's just because of the cost of contesting in the major political parties. And, and the kind of and the kind of atmosphere. Yes. No, it is still boils down to cost. Because the number of people, the number of states, the number of activities in the in the major political parties is a multiple compared to most of these parties they have gone to but where they uh, don't have to you know struggle to even pick the presidential ticket okay there let's, is, let's close quickly sir before we close about zoning is your party still your party started the zoning thing kind of um pdp are, are you still operating on that to, talking about the um, 2019 presidential elections of course if you look at it critically virtually all those who have collected the nomination form are from the north are from the, uh, right. they are from the north so we believe very strongly for fairness sake that 
did not still last at least four years. They have four years to still serve. So that four years is done. By 2023, I don't know, it might be open for all. But for now, majority of them are from the north. All right, thank you very much, Honorable Rotimi Johnson. Thank you once again for coming this morning. It's my pleasure. We're so pleased to have you this morning. Thank you. Uh, that's, that has been the guest segment this morning on Immaculate TV, Early Rise. We have been talking about the cost of nomination forms and its implications. So please do make sure that you um, um, send us a comment um, comment on this on this video. Make sure that you let us know what exactly you feel about. Some people have, have already reached us, and that's why we're able to give um, their opinions during the break. So I want to know what was your what is your opinion as well. What do you think? How do you think this is going to play out? And what do you think are the implications of all this? Thank you so much for joining us. We are still on the early rise. There's still the sports segment coming on. So please stay tuned. Thank you. We're not already. We don't ready. Mama, um, we full ground now. Make me turn up. I am epic turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Let's go. Let's go!